if i am in business my whole dharma will be to make money and sometimes at the cost of ethics and sometimes at the cost of other people but that's how the world is today uh, the whole point is uh, when do we stop where do we stop that's the whole point you no know? so we have seen the negative effects like everybody has heard about global warming and all those words that you hear about ecology and all and you know why the reasons the reasons why this has happened the only advice is if we support nature nature will support us it is so simple the all that we do in the garden here is make the soil strong give it lot of biomass you know tend the plants very lovingly and your job is done you support nature nature supports you and it would be nice if instead of expecting somebody to be responsible for our food security if we can start growing something on our balcony on our terraces on our window sills just something i think that will go a long way in supporting life on this planet that will be a good beginning for everybody when we start nurturing a small plant it's like nurturing the earth that's a good beginning and that would be the advice i'd like to give to everybody you know i'm not talking about scientists i'm talking about lay people we can't lay all the responsibility on the shoulders of the scientists alone everybody has to take part in this as individuals who are living on this earth and who are living off this earth the resources of this earth so we have something to give back to the earth too so let's support nature in some way let's grow some saplings let's take care of them that would be a good beginning and let's begin and then once we take the right first right step other steps will automatically follow it's a known fact that uh, most of the land resources and the water resources are used for cattle no so if you want food security just grow more food for human beings finished like a crop takes 3 months to grow and a calf or a bull that you eat takes how many years to grow and then you eat the meat how many years maybe 3 years 4 years 5 years no and 3 4 5 years you keep growing food for the for the bull so that he is able to give me meat after 3 or 4 or 5 years and every 3 months i can grow food for people so if 5 years of a bull and if you take 3 every 3 months you can get a crop how much are you actually uh, wasting you get the mathematics so 20 times more food we can produce for human beings so instead of meat creating that meat i met one farmer who was going to commit suicide in 2003 he became a a a, a graduate in agriculture and in 1994 he started applying all the chemical whatever he learnt in the university and in 2003 he was going to commit suicide this is of india because in india you cannot have a loan if you have a loan on your head you have to repay they will be so shy to show their face in society that's how it is in india and he didn't want to show his face he wanted to commit suicide so he met one of our teachers and dr paul told him you commit suicide after one year one week you know postponed by one week and just come for the course then you commit suicide if you want so he came for the course so when he did the heart alloying course his mind that was so negative and he had lost all hope suddenly he felt so strong from within and he felt i can solve any problem that i have in my life and he decided he is not going to commit suicide anymore then dr paul told him i'll teach you zero budget farming zero budget farming is no input of the farmer whatever he produces is 100% profit for him no and here was a person 
he learnt the zero budget farming today he is earning 1 lakh rupee a day 100000 rupees a day he is earning in a matter of just 7 or 8 years that's it he had 4 acres of land and he had no cows today he has 40 acres of land and he's got 70 cows he just uses the cow urine of the cow and the the cow dung to make his fertilizer and insecticide that's it and he is earning 100,000 rupees a day today there where a person in 2003 was in debt he was not earning anything and he showed me the photograph of his capsicums they are the biggest capsicums I have ever seen grown organically only and I was so pleased so I asked him, was he making a lot of profit on this? Because now he'll get a premium price. He says, no, I am selling it at chemical price. So I asked him, why? He said, actually, I want to sell it cheaper. Because my expense is zero. And I'm getting a huge profit anyway. But I'm glad he has the right education. He has the right education to think that he has to sell his product cheaper because organic food will create health and poor people don't have money to buy health care so they are the ones who must get cheap food so if every farmer th starts thinking this way problem will be solved and the farmer won't be poor at all like there is a, a a belief in the whole of india any part of india you go they speak different languages cultures are different food is different everything is different but there are some things common in the whole country. One among them is the more number of people come and eat from my farm or more number of people come and eat and partake food in my house, nature will give me more. Now, this is a belief that's there everywhere. And perhaps this is the belief that has made Mr. Ingavle, the farmer from Maharashtra, earn 100,000 rupees a day because that is his nature. And that's how a farmer should be, I think. The more he shares, nature will give him more. That's the way consciousness works. That's how it is. This planet Earth is not a mass of dead rock. She is living. It's an organism. The whole earth is a living organism. So we need to protect that like we protect our body. Let's not spoil this planet, this earth with chemicals and fertilizers which are harmful, which are toxic in nature. Let's preserve the planet in its pristine purity. We have to preserve the earth, preserve the water and the air. You know, we had to protect this planet from pollutions. It's only human race which is polluting the earth. No animal ever pollutes this planet. So we must learn from the nature. We need to go back to organic farming and help in a sustainable growth of agriculture, not just a momentary growth with all these chemical and fertilizers and then we make the soil um, unfit for cultivation. This we cannot afford to do anymore. As civilized human beings, we all have to take responsibility to protect our planet Earth. Take good day.